What's, What's up, up y'all? How y'all doing? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle. And we switching things up today. We're a married couple. <laughs> and uh, this is our third YouTube channel. It's mainly snippets or highlights of what we do on our reaction channel. So yeah. definitely check that out, Carla and Nick. Uh, but today we're coming at y'all with a story time. This could be considered a story time, a warning to the people, you know, who may not know. Like, we're going to speak our truth, y'all, and this happened recently. So, this is a recent story time. We're going to tell y'all about the day we accidentally got high. Yes. You started off. All right. So, <laughs> basically what happened, it started off the day prior with us having that fucking walking challenge. Do you remember that? Okay, damn your memory. That's why I told her to start off. Her memory good as hell. <laughs> yeah, cause usually, uh, okay, so we got these Fitbits and um, <laughs> we try to get like 10,000 steps a day. And on this day, I guess we just, me and Carla was really competitive with each yes. other. Yes, and I can't remember how many steps you got. I wanna say you got like 45, what did you end up getting? About 40, day? it was like 45,000 steps. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 45,000 steps. Well, that's because we was competing like crazy. Yes. But. So it was like the next day, our feet was hurting so bad. <laughs> it was like our feet and our body was hurting. So Nick, Nick actually said that she was like, we should go and get, I'll uh, get some feet massages. <sighs> And I was like, oh yes. I was like, cause my feet hurting so bad. Actually, um, the other girls who we in the um, on our Fitbit, who we be in the challenge with, I had told them, I was like, y'all, we about to go get some feet massages. They told me so, I bet y'all ass do need them after all them damn steps y'all did. <laughs> so, we, um, y'all, so um, we set up our appointment. Yes, y'all. And, um, and um, I'm gonna let me go and warn them so y'all know not to go there ever in your life. You in town? <laughs> uh, their name is Harmony. Harmony. My skin almost jumped off my body just for saying the name of that store. But yes, we booked our appointment at Harmony Massage with a whole bunch of Asian men and. Uh, and a few Asian women. Yes, y'all. So, um, as a matter of fact, we pull up. I told Nick, I said, I think they said we had to get there early to do like paperwork or whatever. So, um, we was actually there super early. Just chilling in the parking lot. Yeah, we was chilling in the parking lot because we had, I think we had another errand that we ran that day and we finished it sooner than we thought we would. So we ended up just going ahead and going to the spa. So we're sitting there and I can't remember what I'm doing, but Nick decides that she's going to get out and go to the CBD store. Let me, let me break this too. Okay. So first and foremost, the reason we're even doing the story time is, um, also is because I just released a book. Yes. Sorry y'all. The book title is Red Pill by Nick Rochelle. It's on our audio book store, freaksaudiobooks.com. As a matter of fact, if you like listening to stories, freaky stories, explicit stories, check out our audio book store. Every book come with sound effects, music, background ambience, either Carla's narrating it or I'm narrating the story. So yeah. definitely check it out and support the project Red Pill. But in the book, um, I actually wrote a story. I mean, a part of the story where yeah. the main character sees this CBD store while they're on their way to the sex party and they stop. Our story is what inspired the story in that book. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I see the CBD store. Yes. Nick decides that she's going to go in the CBD store. Yeah. I can't remember what I was doing, but I decided not to go in. So I let her just go in and I guess, babe, you can like. So start. when I walk in the store, it looks just like the story. It looks like a regular CBD store. You know, they had just different gummies and bath bombs and stuff like that. And then these dudes wanted to tell me um, at the counter about something new they had, which was these herb vegan gummies. I was like, okay. I mean, I just thought they were CBD gummies because me and my wife, we would take CBD gummies, you know, just to relax yourself and stuff. But um, when I saw it, 
I was like, hmm, that looks different. And then he said, yeah, this is something new. It's uh, called Delta 8 or something like that. And I was like, oh, I said, why I say THC? Because we're in Alabama and in Alabama, weed is illegal. Yeah. So I'm like, why would they be selling, how could they sell weed in a legal store? He said, oh, well, it's THC that's derivative from the hemp seed. I was like, okay. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I mean, I figure maybe a CBD with a little, with a little punch, yeah, with a little kick. So I come to the truck, the vehicle. I'm like, babe, I got some CBD, but it got like some new called like Delta Eight. I don't even remember her saying this. What was I doing? Cause I was doing something. I don't know what I was doing. It could have been some on my phone. I was doing something. So I was kind of in the moment of still being caught up in what I was in. If she said that, I don't even remember her saying that. Cause I was caught up in whatever it was I was doing. Mm -hmm. So then um, I was like, here baby, actually say, uh, take half the gummy. Um, that's the serving that they actually recommend. Um, and she was like, girl, let me see that. She was just thinking, okay, it's a CBD gummy. So she pulled a full whole gummy out and she popped the, I was like, babe, you finna pop the whole thing? She was like, I said this little bitty thing. Yeah. I was like, who's finna take half of this? Yeah. It's so little. I was like, who's finna take half of this? I was like, girl, I'm finna take this whole thing. And I said, Ooh. I was like, uh, I was like, well, I guess I'll take the whole thing too. And I took it, boom. I'm like, it's just a CBD gummy. Like, <laughs> so I just thought it was going to be even fun. Like, you know, I thought maybe it's going to be a strong CBD. It's going to be extra relaxing. So then we uh, finally go into the massage place from, you know, sitting in the parking lot. We go into the massage place and we get our massage. Carla get a little Asian man. I get a little Asian man. Me. I was actually kind of excited because I feel like men have thicker hands and fatter hands and it just feels better to me when they massage my feet. So I'm excited. I'm like, yeah, I got a dude. And then Carl's like, yeah, she got a dude. And then we lay back and we got our massages. I think you got an hour massage, right? It yeah, was both, on my feet. It was both supposed to be an hour. But because I don't really like feet massages like that, I was like, they had an option where you could actually like just use the rest of the time on a regular massage. So I said, I want 30 minute feet and a 30 minute massage. So we sit down, we getting our feet massaged and it's actually feeling good. I yeah. was like, you know, I was laid back like, ooh, damn, this feel good, you know? And, um, hold on. So then while we lay back, I'm just in my head like, you. okay, we're in a dark room. They have nice soothing music yeah. going. They got really comfortable chairs. Carla's right on the other side of me and I'm laid back and we got our eyes closed and they just massaging our feet. Every feeling good. And then all of a sudden, how I knew I was high, my thoughts started getting crazy. Like at first I was just thinking regular thoughts and then all of a sudden when my thoughts started getting too big and paranoid, I was like, hold up. I'm like, Am I high? This is all in my head. I'm laying back like this. <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, am I high? Like, what the fuck? Did I get high? And, uh, and I was like, ooh, I said, I know if I'm high, I know Carlo, whatever. <laughs> Feeling high too. Yeah, so me, I'm just laying there getting my foot massage. <laughs> I'm just laying there, just chilling. I'm like, damn. I was like, he's massaging the hell out of my feet and my dog on <laughs> my little lower leg part. I'm like, damn, this shit feel good. So then he, he is like, ma'am, like, let me know it's time to get up and go to get my massage. Y'all, I open my eyes and I sit up. <laughs> At first, I was like, what is this feeling? Because I have not been high and I don't know when. So I was like, I'm high. And like, because I'm high, I'm moving slower than I think I'm supposed to be moving, right? Because I'm already, I just realized I'm high. So then I'm like trying to like, okay, wait, let me get my purse. Let me, um, did I have the keys? Uh, oh no, Nick got the key. So it's like I'm really trying to make sure I ain't leave the shit because I'm high. And I ain't been high and I don't know how long. So I look up and the guy is standing there like, bitch, is he gonna come or what? So I'm like, oh 
shit. Oh, like, I'm trying to, like, hurry up and walk up. So, y'all, yeah, imagine the, the masseuse. He's like, okay, let's time to go to the next room. That's something that's only supposed to take, like, a good five to ten seconds. <laughs> imagine looking at your customer standing there for, like, two minutes, three minutes uh, before they come to the next room. Yeah, so I get to the back. And he's telling me like what to do or whatever. And I was like, okay, I don't want to take forever to get my clothes off. Like I want to make sure I'm in the bed. Like I don't want him to knock on the door and I'm still up. Yeah, I'm so high. Apparently I got on the massage table wrong or something. I don't know. What you had your legs <laughs> open or something? So I get on there right, but they have it set up where <laughs> It's this sheet on top of another sheet. I got up under there. I got up under, like, in between the sheet. But once the guy walked in, it was kind of like he had to take that sheet off uh -huh. and do something else. And I was just like, oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to get in here like this. Yeah, so either way, I'm getting my massage. And it's really feeling good. It's feeling good at first, and I'm just like, oh... I'm so happy I got this massage. And then the massage started. It getting, turned dark. It turned really dark, y'all. Like, it was like, I was just like, what the fuck is happening? I was like, I know I'm high, but what's happening? Y'all, the massage started hurting. <laughs> when I say hurting, and then I was like, bitch, you just high. Like, I was yeah. just like, like, bitch, you just high. You probably more sensitive. Your body more sensitive. <laughs> because you got so I'm like just take this shit take this shit so I'm just like sitting there and I'm taking it and then he do a certain part and I'm kind of like oh and then so he's like too hard I'm like uh-huh <laughs> so I'm thinking he gonna slow up yeah I promise it felt like blood was oozing out my skin <laughs> It felt like blood. It felt like I was like, damn. I, yeah, okay, this gonna sound uh, damn. so this gonna sound so bad. Okay, y'all, but this was the thought I had. I was just like, damn. I was like, he massaging me so hard. I said, what if he breaks my goddamn bottle or something? <laughs> it was just like the way he was pressing on my fucking back. I was like, he gonna fucking break my fucking back, blade. <laughs> So, I'm just like, bitch, you hide. Bitch, you hide. Just take it. Just take it. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm sitting up here like, I wonder what the fuck Nick doing. Yeah, I'm going through the same motherfucking pain. And I laugh because when you was like, what if he break my motherfucking bone? I was thinking that about my foot. I was like, I was like, one point, he took his ass. He started squeezing. I was like, Damn. I was like, how hard he finna squeeze my foot? And he just kept going and going. And he was digging in certain parts of my foot. But I felt like Carla. I was like, maybe I'm just high. And maybe, maybe he's working through things that I need to be worked through. So I'm gonna just sit here and I'm gonna try to take the pain. And then at one point he squeezed so hard. I was like, alright. And then I like back down for that. All like a say, cause I was so high, y'all. And when we say high, it's like I have not been that type of high since Man. my college days. Yeah, you that type of high where you don't even know if you could pick your head up, like, right? <laughs> because like you should. Even when I say I ain't been high in so long, the last time I got high, like when I make the decision to get high. I know how much I it's need It's cute. To, yeah, I relax. Yeah, I'm like, okay, depending on what type it is, I probably only need one pool. Even when we went to Las Vegas, you know, it's legal in Las Vegas, so we, we, you know, we got a little something, something. Yeah. And we smoked enough to make us feel relaxed and cool, not to where you can barely control your body. Yes. I was just like, so y'all look. <coughs> so I'm sitting up here in the back, and then I'm sitting here getting like, abused, honey. <laughs> that shit was painful, y'all. <laughs> so then I hear this this female voice, and I'm just like, oh, like, cause he like, oh, he got his whole coat on, like on my back, so my body like, 
you know, and I was just like, oh shit, you know, my <laughs> face in the thing, and I was just like, Ooh. I was like, I knew I shouldn't have got these cheap ass Asian massages. <laughs> So then I hear this female voice because at the same time I'm getting the massage out, I'm like, damn, 30 minutes ain't up yet. Like, <laughs> it felt like, hey, you know what's bad when you ready for the massage <laughs> to end. <laughs> that time ain't over no yet, yes, shit. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, it feel like he done went over. I saw how he went over. So then when I hear the female voice, because I'm high, I'm trying to be like, is that me? You know? And I'm like, I hear this voice. I said, oh shit, they done went over on my massage. I said, Nick probably like, you know, like what the fuck happening? She no. should be out. <clears throat> so y'all, I just hear this commotion. And the guy who's massaging me, he hear it too. It's like we hear commotion outside the door. Yes, and I want to tell them what happened, what was going on, because <laughs> Carla was on the inside getting abused. I'm on the outside getting abused, and I witnessed the whole thing. It's almost like even though I'm getting my massage, I was out outside of my body seeing everything that was happening. So two people came. I think they were from Alabama A&M, y'all, two college kids. They come in to get some massage. And one of them was a stud, actually. And the other one was just like, she like maybe she was her home girl. Even though she was like a regular feminine girl, she didn't look like, they didn't look like girlfriend and girlfriend. Uh -huh. um, but so the massage, the, the stud come in, she sits on the, uh, on the, uh, in the chairs where I'm sitting at. And she sit down, she, uh, the dude, they get her feet prepped, they put it in water and get ready to massage. They come in, and the other girl, she was sitting um, next to the stud, getting ready to be called to go to the back where Carla was to get her body massage. So they start on this the stud's feet. They rubbing her, feeling real good. And then finally they call for this girl to go to the back. So she go to the back, take off her clothes. She still haven't got her massage yet. Stud, she's sitting there getting a good ass massage. It gets about maybe 15, 20 minutes uh, actually, yeah, about 20 minutes. Where the girl in the back, I guess she started getting a massage and she started going off. She said, I don't like this. Uh-uh, I don't like this massage. No, did, no, she not doing it right. They have somebody come at, uh, come to the back. Somebody else to come to the back. And while they come to the back and they handle their commotion, stood over here still getting their massage. And then, <clears throat> when she said, I'm sorry, I just don't want to do this. I'm leaving, blah, 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 I'm good. I'm gonna put on my clothes. So after the commotion, she goes back where the stud is still getting her massage. And she said, come on, let's go. And then she's like, huh? And she said, come on, let's go. I didn't like my massage. And then the stud just, the stud getting, sitting there and she look at the little Asian lady who giving her the massage. She was like, well, sorry about that. And then she gets up, put on her uh, socks, leave and don't even pay for it. Yeah, yeah, and I'm back there and on my door, we hear a knock. This while I'm getting my massage. And so my massage person leaves out because he's checking on the commotion that's going on because somebody comes to get him. And I hear him trying to talk. The girl's like, I don't like the way she massaged. <laughs> she was like, and I'm leaving. And so he must try to talk her into the getting the massage. She said, no, I put it on my clothes and I'm leaving. And I was like, oh, I was like, girl, somebody. I'm like, girl, is everything okay out there? Something's going wrong. So then he comes back in and he starts massaging again. And I'm sitting up here still wondering when is this fucking massage from the end? Because I'm in pain. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, y'all, this massage in. But I even had a moment too, like when they was having that commotion and they walked out, I was like, damn, is he massaging my feet hard because they mad at black people for getting over on them? Like I even had moments like that. <clears throat> I didn't know what the fuck was going on. But after I came out, I think you were already done. And then I just remember we walked to the front, y'all. And when we walked to the front, um, both of the guys are up there, the guy that massaged Nick feet and the guy that did my massage. And he tell Nick what the total, the total is. Was. And Nick is trying to pay. Y'all, when I tell y'all, this transaction just took longer than what it was supposed to take. I'm standing there straightening my clothes up. 
And I'm like trying to be like, okay, I got five leave. You know, I'm still talking myself through to make sure I got all my shit before I leave. And then Nick. I'm standing there at the front desk like this. Trying to, trying, to, trying to add up, trying to make sure the numbers look right. I was like, all right. And I actually think I blacked out. Like, because I think when I came back to reality, I think we were, I was like, damn. I was like, I wonder how long they were, we standing here. Because I saw the two dudes, the two Asian dudes. <laughs> they were standing by the, one was standing by the little mini refrigerator. One was standing right behind the desk. They were just staring at us. Yes, because the one who massaged me, no, you, he had already gave us two small waters. So I'm not realizing how long Nick taking it. And then finally I look up and I'm like, damn, what's happening? And I noticed the guy, he looking at me, then he'll look at Nick. Like he was staring, like he was like, like looking like. They both was looking at us. Ass okay? <laughs> and when I came back too, and then I looked and I was like, I was like, why they looking at us like that? I was like, we must have been standing here for a long time. So then I started like going back to my receipt. It took me a little minute because I'm like, I need to leave a tip. Yeah, I actually ended up leaving them a nice size tip. Way bigger than what I should have left. Because you was high as Because I was high. I was like, oh shit. I was like, why they looking at me like this? I was like, and then I was trying to figure it out. And I just remember the number I put on her. And now when I think back, I was like, that was too big especially for that abuse honey <clears throat> all i know is me and nick walk out back to the truck in and the parking nick, lot. nick is walking and me i'm like oh shit it's a step i'm like bitch make sure you step down so your ass don't fall i take that step down it's a little breeze that hit outside and you know that breeze when you high and you be like man i feel good as hell and i told and out my mouth. Nick wasn't even expecting it. I said, girl, I don't know about you, but I'm high as hell. And we just started laughing, getting weak, could barely walk, all that. But um, when we got in the truck, it's like we were so high, y'all, that we couldn't even drive. No. We were in the parking lot for like two hours afterwards. Yes, it was two and a half before we started being like, okay, yeah. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I can go ahead and get. And what's crazy is, at first we were sitting there, and Nick was like, "I don't even know if I can drive." And I was like, "I can," because mine had not fully just hit yet. I thought it was just like a high, y'all. Like I knew I was high, but then when it Nick got, kept getting strong. Yes, when Nick then was, Nick was like, "Nah, we just gonna sit here. We just." And I think because Nick's had already kicked in because y'all like we can tell like when we take certain things like if I take a Benadryl, Nick take a Benadryl, Nick's system set up where she'll get tired. Me, it would take a minute before mine kick in or I might not even get tired. So I think mine had not kicked all the way in. And yours had kicked in. Yeah. And then, so the more we were sitting there, I was just like, I'm like fucked up. Yes. It's like I kept blacking out and coming back to me talking. Like, I mean, and like, I'm talking about some shit and I just like, damn, like, I'm talking my ass off. I hope I don't say no crazy shit. Oh, uh, but I think we both did. I think we both were saying some fucked yes. up shit. Yeah. Carla <laughs> said something about some. Carla said something about this dude who was walking by, honey. I was just like, honey, Nick she gonna let me know some tea. Weak. But I was just like, you know how sometimes you have a joke as a couple, and y'all would say that shit to yourself, but you wouldn't say it out to yeah, the public. Yeah, man. It was just like certain shit that was just coming up. And I can't remember. It was some that got said, and we both was like, <laughs> <laughs> I called my mama. I, I sounded crazy on the phone with her. She knew that we was fucked up just by the way we was talking. And I kept like, and that's why I didn't feel okay driving. And I didn't want, I was like, if I feel like this, I just cannot even get out this seat and let Carla try to drive. Because what kept happening is I kept like blacking out. Like not, when I say blackout, how can I explain this where y'all understand? Like, I wasn't aware of everything that was happening in the reality. Yeah. Like it'd be, I would be coming to the reality and like, oh, it's okay. like you were slow to response. It's almost like a slow to response moment. Yeah, like we'll be, me and Carla will be having a conversation, 
But I'm not, I co I'm coming too. I'm like, oh, damn, we talking about this now. Yeah. Was you having that moment? No. That's how high, that's how fucked up I was, y'all. Off of this little bitty legal little gummy. Because again, this is for people who don't smoke like that. Me and Carla, we don't smoke like that. We yes. ain't no weed heads. And I had told Nick, I said, girl, I said, they done figured out how to legalize marijuana. Yes, in Alabama. Y'all. Yeah. Have y'all ever heard of these Delta 10, 8, 9 uh, THC gummies? Honey, and don't get me wrong, I think it's some out there that don't work as good. Because remember, it was a brand that um, since she had and she said it didn't work, but then it's like she, she says she actually purposely takes them and I think what scared me though is, so I ate the gummy and we was chilling and right when we was getting ready to go in uh, the, the Harmony place, I considered taking another gummy. Because, so that would have oh, been two. Yeah, because you thought it was CBD. Because we I actually, was like, yeah, we thought it was CBD. Because we had sat gummy. there probably like a good eight, 10 more minutes before we went into Harmony, into the massage place. So I was like, Actually, I don't feel, I said, it actually feel kind of, it's like I felt like I was feeling a little relaxed. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I probably should take another one. At the last minute, I was like, no, y'all, I guarantee you, if I would have took another gummy. <laughs> I told Nick she would have been drooling. I would not have been able to walk. <laughs> I was like, I probably would have been astral projection, projected for real. I was just like so thankful because I just knew this would have been too much for me. Yes. So, um, if y'all have, uh, if you go to a CBD store, maybe you usually take CBD and you happen to see this Delta 8, 9, and 10. And you not a smoker. Yes. I mean, we smokers. Please follow the pack instructions. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like, we get, we let uh, my uncle try. He, he. He is experienced, so that really the only thing is he ate a lot. And they make you hungry as hell. They do. Um, he he got really hungry. Like he the munchies were like more than usual, um, than what he's used to. But um, it's like if you smoke weed, you probably be straight. But if you don't get down like that and you take these, like especially if you go to a you go into a party or something, and then you see it for the first time and you pop two of them, you will be fucked up. Yeah, they will have to. <clears throat> carry your ass out i took one y'all i was hot to the next day so then check this out so my mama <clears throat> who used to smoke <clears throat> when i told her about these this is when she was in arkansas she was like "Ooh," she was like she wanted to try it <clears throat> excuse me so she went to her local cbd store and they definitely had them there mm -hmm. so she took one she was like girl this ain't shit like this week or whatever so a little later, she took another one. Y'all, she was high for a full 24 hours. And I could tell she was high because when she, when I, I was like, damn, I ain't heard from my mama yet when she had took the second one. So I called her and she was sounding just like I sounded on the phone, just talking. She was high as fuck saying crazy shit. I was like, your mama sound, I, I, at first I said, she sound like her lip numb. And then I said, honey, she sound like she didn't even move her tongue and talk. Yeah, I said, dang, my son, if you got a brick hanging from your jaw, she got a little upset. And she was on the phone with grandma, she was on saying some crazy shit. I was like, ooh, she shouldn't be saying that right now. <laughs> but, um, so even my mama, she got high as hell. So uh, that is how we accidentally got high, y'all. Yes. It recently happened. It was embarrassing. I was having, I was scared. I was just like, man, I'm too high. I said, I'm too wrong to, to be, be this high. Yes. And then In public. When we made it home, y'all, we was just like, I'm so thankful we made it home safely. Like, ain't nobody do nothing stupid. Yeah. But yes. Y'all need to proceed with caution yes. if you decide to experiment. But we want to let people know, for the people that do not know, if you go in the store and they recommend it. So I guess I'm going to do like Taco do, moral of the story. Um, if you ever try something new, legal, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really fuck with no legal shit because that fitting on and all that shit, it's just too much going on. But since this was legal in the store, I was yeah. like, let me go ahead and try it. But if you're trying something new, especially if you're in public, just take 
what it say to the serving or or maybe even a little under the serving to test it out to see how your body react and preferably do it at home yeah. especially if you as grown as me and carla because we just we ain't no little young tw in our young 20s and yeah. college days where you you know expected to do shit like that imagine being grown and sophisticated and you out in public i know <laughs> can barely function we was stuck in our truck yes because it was like we were so high we didn't even want to walk get i out was so walk. high yeah because they had a wing stop over there i was like i wanted wing stop so bad but i was so high i couldn't even get out the truck and walk to wing stop because i was scared that if i did i would end up in the alley somewhere because i kept blacking out and coming back to my life i was like no Vic. <laughs> I was like, no, you cannot get out because you may, you may not go to Wingstop. <laughs> you may go somewhere else, y'all. That's how much of not in control I feel. So, all right, that's the story time. Also, if you again, if you want to check out the book Red Pill, go to our website freaksaudiobooks.com and support the project. And um, we hope to catch. Oh, make sure you subscribe to this third channel because this is our third channel. Yeah, subscribe to it, and we'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace. Don't be validation. You live it in your truth. Only moment you feel it. That's why I'm tuning into your body.